Hi there, I'm going to show you how to rip a video clip from a DVD or even a video file on a CD. And there's many ways to do it. What I found is the easiest way is to use a DVD uh, ripper. The one I found is called A0A or AOA DVD Ripper. I'm using the free version, which is limited to a certain amount of minutes and other um, features you're not, you don't have access to, but that's all I need it for right now. So when I open it, I get to that page, and then I click Continue to Evaluation ish, uh, version, and then I click Load DVD, Import from DVD Disk. Here it is, open. Um, I cannot do the whole thing, the whole video file, because it's uh, I don't have the f the full version, but I don't need it. So I'm going to click I'm going to click Movie Clip, <clears throat> and then I'm going to put in the start time, which in this case is 33, 33 end position. So I'm going to end at 35.04 okay and I'm gonna click okay so the next thing I wanna make sure the conversion is where I want it to be I, I want mp4 because I'll be editing on iMovie and you can click and select different versions so I want mp4 you're probably gonna want AVI in most cases or WNV they don't do dot .mov, which I don't understand, but or wave. Wave is, oh no, not wave. Sorry. Okay, so MP4. I'm going to output to the desktop. That's fine. So next, I'm going to click um, start. And then it's going to pop up asking me to buy it again. I'm going to click continue evaluation, and now it's starting. Okay, and now it's done and the file's ready to uh, be sent to my iMac and I'm doing this video screencast on my PC um, because I don't have a DVD drive on my iMac so I'm using this um, and so what I'm gonna do is take the two video files I created and then I'm gonna export them into Dropbox and simply upload them back on my iMac simple as that okay I hope that helped out share and like thank you